This one takes place in Los Angeles. It's called Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger almost hit my car three times before we actually met face to face. It was really face to belt buckle. I am rather short. Let's say petite, it sounds nicer. The third time I pummeled the horn, jumped out of my car on Bellwood Circle and started yelling at him like he was an ornery child. Arnold grinned, which pissed me off even more. Hands on hips, I stomped my tube tight patent black pumps for emphasis. I could see my friends Jody Escar, Giga, and John Tran watching in horror from the Bellwood Bakery window. They surely found it incredible that I was yelling at the nearly governator. Undeterred, I let fly. You backed into me twice last week, and today you almost plowed into me with your child hanging out of the back of your car. Readers should note I had a silver Volvo and, Arvel, and Arnold traveled in one of several Hummers. This one was bright canary yellow in case anyone needed any more reminders of size and power. My three-year-old son Dashiell started to squirm in the back seat. Mommy, I need a cranberry muffin. I grabbed him from his car seat, plopping him on my hip as Arnold apologized and opened the door for me. I know I'm a terrible driver. That's why I had him hanging out the back. Unamused, I observed out loud that his car took up three parking spots. I ordered the same thing every morning, so Jody had my latte and hot apple brand muffin ready and waiting for me. Jody's eyes are lavender when she's happy and hazel green when she's mad. Today, her lavender eyes conveyed a delicious glee and hinted that an explosion of laughter was imminent. Arnold took no notice. He extended his hand to mine, patted Dashiell's head, and paid for our breakfast. He said Maria, his wife, had just constructed a playground called Aiden's Place, and that if I voted for him, he would make sure no one got parking tickets at Bellwood Bakery. The Star Power Charm Factory kind of took me by surprise. I forgot to be mad. Upon his exit, Jody smiled and said, they are all nice. All four of his kids and his wife is the nicest. Well, I said, my mom would die if I voted for the Terminator. As you know, Arnold won the election and Maria still came to the bakery, Cub Scouts and uncounted baseball games. She was always just one of the moms. The fact that she was an author and former news reporter was always second to being a mom. She always shooed away her secret service detail so that she might personally deliver a kind personal word for everyone around her. Despite the death threats that Arnold received after 9-11, she and her kids would join us in Santa Monica to package food for one voice, not for the quick photo op, but for the whole evening giving herself wholly to the task at hand. You know, Arnold never got around to those free parking tickets that he, to those, you know, Arnold never got around to the free parking tickets he promised. He would routinely take his tickets out of his Hummers, stuffing them deep into his blue jean pockets. The governor of the state of California, who believed wholeheartedly in fitness and healthy food, could not resist the best chocolate croissants west of Paris, even if he needed to take up three parking spots to get them.